Hey guys, it's Eric with the Irish Games, and I'm here playing an old favorite of mine, Sonic Heroes. So, Sonic Heroes was a game released for the GameCube, the PS2, and the original Xbox, and it was basically the first multi-platform Sonic game. And the basically, you can choose between four different teams: Team Sonic, Team Dark, Team Rose, and Team Chaotix. And each one has their own like difficulty and objective. And it's just us, another Sonic platforming game, which I really love. So we're going to do a Let's Play of Team Sonics. And depending on the fan response, we will continue to do the other ones. So there's a cutscene uh, at the beginning of everyone's story. So I'm going to shut up for a minute so you can hear it. Like an invitation to party. What are we gonna do, Sonic? <laughs> no worries. We've got this one. Ha, think I'd miss this? Time to crack that Eggman wide open. Yeah, let's party! Alright, so the first set of levels is the like the beach type levels. Uh, which starts with Seaside Hill and then Ocean Palace. So we're gonna play that in this first episode. And, um, basically the way this game works is, uh, at any time in the game you can switch between three different characters. Your speed character, your power character, and your flight character. Uh, on Team Sonic, the speed character is Sonic, the power character is Knuckles, and the flying, uh, character is Tails. And you can switch them at any time, or you can get automatically switched when you pass through those gates like you just saw. Now, uh, Knuckles' abilities are breaking these blocks right here and destroying enemies easier than the other two characters. Sonic's abilities are just running fast and having a homing attack. And Tails is flying and disabling enemies with the Thunder Shoot, which I will show you in a minute. See that? You can just disable all these enemies and then attack them with Knuckles. Now as you progress, you'll fill up this little meter at the top right called the Team Blast, which allows you to execute a special attack that'll take out all the enemies on the screen. So when we get to an area with a lot of enemies, I'll use it. You know what, I'll just use it right here to show you it. So basically this is a cool little cutscene. It launches Sonic into the air, destroys every enemy on the screen. which is kind of cool. And then there's Sonic's homing attack, which seemed to miss that last guy. But yeah, um, I used to play this game all the time as a kid, so this isn't a blind let's play, but I haven't played this in a while, so I'm, uh, I'm a little rusty. There's also this little cart thing you can ride around sometimes. Later on, this will get very annoying, and you'll see what I mean if I continue this Let's Play. But, uh, yeah, let's just level up some people here. So basically, this game was released for the PS2, the Xbox, and the GameCube. Um, while it has some glitches on the GameCube version, I heard that the other two... What? See, that's what I'm talking about. Right there, that was a glitch. This game has some glitches in it. But as I was saying, the other two versions ha seem to have more glitches than the GameCube version would what I'm playing right now. Um, so I don't own those other two versions. Uh, but I'm sure if Mike were to play this game, he'd play it on the PS2 because that's the, uh, the console of choice for him. But anyway. Yeah, that was kind of funny how I was talking about glitching, and then it glitched right as I said it. So... Oop, we missed that checkpoint back there. 
don't want to miss a possible level upgrade, and I failed. Sorry if I have to readjust my mic sometimes. This is not an optimal setup for me. I'm using a rock band mic because my headset mic is broken. So I have to constantly fidget around with it. Check this out. Bam. Bam. Upgraded Tails is awesome. And then we have another Team Blast, it looks like, so we'll have to use that sooner or later. And uh, this is probably, you know, this isn't the first stage, but it's probably one of my favorites. Mainly because of the level design and the colors and everything. Really awesome. So we'll use our Team Blast again right here, just because we can. Blast up into this cannon. Up, up, and away. Whoa. So if you want to pick up this game, uh, at this point, it's like... I think I looked it up the other day, since I had to buy this copy. I lost my old one. It's $8 for the GameCube version, $9 for the PS2 version, and 10 for the Xbox version on GameStop. Don't know why there's a difference in pricing. It's the same game. Maybe there was lost copies made for the other two systems. I don't know. But they still had it in stock, in stock at my local GameStop, so I picked it up. <coughs> All right, we got another Team Blast to use. But we are approaching the end of the level, and we get a free uh, Team Blast right at the end, so this is not going to be very useful to us right now. Yeah, the end of the level is coming up right here. So we'll use our Team Blast once more. Now, if you're a Sonic fan, you may be wondering about the Chaos Emeralds, and yes, you can get them in this game, and this is how you get them. Uh, throughout the level, you have to collect these uh, rings, uh, not rings, keys, and you have to get to the end of the level without getting hit. I'm not going to do that in this Let's Play because I'm going to do that with Team Rose since they're the easier stages compared to the other teams. So for now, we're just going to play through the actual levels. And let's see if we got an A rank here. Oh yeah, solid A. Anything less than an A rank on the first stage is kind of pathetic. And that's another emblem for me. And uh, basically those emblems just track how many levels you beat, I think. I think there's something you get for getting all the emblems, but I, I don't remember. It's been years since I played this game, and I've never actually fully completed it, so... Uh yeah, whatever you say, guys, whatever you say. Oh, damn it. So Ocean Palace is the second stage, and the other half of the beach-type stages, or ocean-type, whatever you want to call them. And introduces some new mechanics that to new players, such as breaking these fallen blocks, and riding on fans, which I'll show you a little while when we get to that. Here's the fan right here. Basically, you just have to double tap A and hold it, and that'll put you in this triangle formation, which allows you to fly on uh, fans. And there's the key that I'm talking about, but I'm not going to collect it for Team Sonic's run, at least. Oop, that was weird. All right. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Looks like Tails needs some upgrades soon. I'll try to get him some. More fans. Alright, so here's another mechanic that Sonic has called the Triangle Jump. It's basically a wall jump, and it'll become useful later in the game. And I just messed it up. Oh, I was trying to demonstrate it, but I guess I messed it up there, so... Okay, well, uh, I'll show you that later then. But anyway... After that fail, let's 
game is so glitchy sometimes. Even more fans. And another team blast. Gotta bust through more of these. Man, I remember this stage so much from my childhood. I remember I'd even have trouble on the easy stages like this. Mainly because I was like, what, six years old when I played this game? Come on, we need some upgrade for Tails already. There's one. Come on, take him out. There we go. Another level up for Tails, that's good. Ooh, and a free team blast. Too bad we didn't need that. Oh, there's our final level up for Tails. Sweet. That was weird, we didn't get hurt there. More fans again with the fans. God damn it. Alright, that takes care of them. Oh, there's another guy here. Look at this clown. So basically, leveling up all the characters helps you get um, an A rank, which is what I'm trying to do. So hopefully that actually happens here. In a previous take I had of this, I actually died. And that's not actually related to why I restarted, but it's a good thing I got another chance at this, because I died because of a stupid glitch. But anyway, we're coming to the later half of the level here. I think. I have to do one more of these fans, I swear to God. Oh, goddamn swordsman. I always hate those swords, man, because they can hit you, even when you're attacking them. Uh, and if my mic changes in volume a lot, like it is right now, again, I told you it's because of my mic problems, so I apologize. Oh, here's a good chance to use the triangle jump. Yeah, that's just a, basically it. Ooh, I just, ooh, that was close. Yeah, so this is about the end of the level right here. We just had to run away from these rocks, which would always trouble me as a kid because I didn't realize you had to hold down because the camera changes. But all you really do is hold down and you'll be good to the end of the level, so, uh, especially since I got the speed shoes just then. See, that's about it for that. And uh, the, uh, the gold ring's right here, and hopefully we got a, an A rank. I hope we did, at least. Come on. Hey, sweet. All right, well, um, that ends part one uh, of my Let's Play of Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace. And, oh, no, it doesn't. What am I saying? We have the boss still. My bad. We gotta fight the boss now. It's Egg Hawk. It's silly me. And then when he gets over here, just use the power. 
Come on. And done. See? Less than a minute, I told you. It was kind of pathetic. But, yeah. So that, my friends, ends part one of the Let's Play of Ocean Palace, Seaside Hill, and the boss Egghawk. Another A rank to top it off. And next time, we'll be playing Grand Metropolis and Power Plant. So until then, this is Eric from the Irish Games, and I'll see you later, guys.